Hey everyone, Cora here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a background like this one and uh, show you how to make the neon. So uh, in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to uh, make like the neon color stuff because it looks awesome. Also in this tutorial, you're going to get the download link for this font if you want it. And also you're going to get the, um, the download link for the brushes right here of the paint splatter if you want that as well. So let's get started. First, what you want to do is hit print screen on your keyboard. Uh, find it. It's pretty much, it's got to be on your keyboard. Um, every keyboard I've ever seen has it. Um, it's on there. Mine is on the top right. Yours might be in between the, the text and the numbers on the side. And uh, if you can't find it for some reason, you can always right click your desktop. And uh, on Windows 7, you have screen resolution, and it tells you on uh, something else like XP or or Mac. I'm not exactly sure, but that still should work. Um, but it might be a different thing you have to click. So let's get started. After you hit the print screen, you want to go to File New, and what that's why you hit print screen is it's going to give you the width and the height of your uh, thing. If you know the width and the height of your actual screen, then just put it in. You don't have to print screen, but uh, I just print screen so I know it's right, and then hit OK. So first what you want to do is uh, double click your background to make it a layer, that way it's not locked. And we're going to fill it in with black. There we go. We're going to make a new layer. No, we're, There we go. We're going to make a new layer. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put in our text. So I go to text and again uh, make it white. I like white. Uh, it doesn't really matter what, you know, whatever color you want. Um, when doing the neon, whatever color you want the inside to be, I mean, whatever color you want the outside to be, sorry, the outside is what you should make the your text. So if you want the outside to be white and then like a neon over white, then make your text white. If you want it to be black on like a white background, then uh, make your text black. But uh, I'm going to make my text white, so game vids. There we go. Okay, now what you want to do is hold down control and uh, click on the your background. Right there, like the picture of it. If you can't do this, it's because you did. It's locked. So make sure you double click it, unlock it, and then you can do that. And what this is going to allow you to do is when you're hovering over your text, uh, you can. This stuff will come up when you're on your arrow. This stuff will come up, come up, and you can center it perfect in the middle, and it is awesome. There we go. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to hold down Control, click our text, and what that's going to do is it's going to select it so we can feather it. Um, also, you could uh, select it with the the magic wand, and uh, that only selects Control Z. That only selects uh, individual stuff. But if it's not like text and you don't have it on a new layer or whatever, um, then this will be very handy as well. But uh, we do have it on a new layer, so we're gonna hold down Control, click it, and it's gonna outline it. Then we're gonna hover over right here where we get this little arrow that you can see. Right click and then go to uh, Feather right here. Uh, now, if to get the feather, you must be on either the marquee tool or the magic wand or I think this yeah or um, this as well the lasso but I just like being on the magic wand it's what I use most of the time so a feather and then I like to make it nine if your text is really big kinda like mine then make it nine if it's smaller you might need to uh, you know just just go with preference if you think nine looks good on something really tiny then go ahead but if not you know then just change the feather so what that does is, it, as you can see, it didn't really do much. It changed the stuff around, but it, you're going to see a real big difference when you fill it in with black. So uh, click it. It's going to say we need to rasterize this. Yes. Hit OK. And then we can fill it in with black. And as you can see, the inside is black because that's what we're filling it in with. Again, it doesn't matter whatever color you choose. But uh, I like to do it with black because my background's black. And, uh, you know, but yeah. But there we go, and as you can see, it's black in the middle and kind of fades out to a white and looks awesome. So then what you want to do is uh, make a new layer, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a box around it. As you can see, I have a box around mine. I just think it looks cooler that way. You don't have to add the box if you don't want to, but I like to. Uh, so just kind of guesstimate how you want it like that. That's a little too big. There we go. Kind of like that. It doesn't have to be perfect on each side because what we're going to do is after we make this, we're going to fill it in with white. Again, uh, hold down control, or if you're still selecting it, then you can do that. Click the magic wand, right click, go to feather, make it nine, and then we're going to fill it in with black, and then it's kind of just like your text, and then we're going to drag it behind. Now, it doesn't matter what the size is, uh, like that looks good, but we're going to make sure it's perfectly centered, so we're going to hold down control, click our background, 
and then center it just like we did with the text that way it's center around our text and it looks better so like if you were to make this side really small and then this side really big it's it's center and it doesn't really matter next what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer and uh, we're gonna I like to use rainbow now if you wanted to you could use a solid color maybe a blue this cool blue uh, maybe a gradient Oops. maybe a gradient or a solid color it doesn't matter but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the gradient because I like the rainbow gradient it looks cool so uh, this is already on my computer um, I didn't make it but yeah um, so I click that and also real quick if you guys want the brush uh, if you guys want this brush and you don't know how to install it um, all you have to do is put in a folder and then go to brush tool come up here to your brushes hit this little triangle and then go to load brushes and then you can just select whatever the brush was forgot to show you that and I'm sorry but now you know and control Z so we're gonna gonna go back to the gradient again I choose the rainbow and what I like to do is uh after you make a new layer, make sure you make a new layer. Um, I like to drag it from the outside and kind of bring it in, kind of like that. That way it's covering the outside and the inside as well. And then what you want to do is go from normal, change the, the blending option from normal to overlay, and then make sure you create a clipping mask. That way it's just on the background. If there's something behind it, it wouldn't cover that. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. So right-click, duplicate, or control J. And then we're going to drag it up to uh, my text as well. And then make sure we make it a clipping mask as well. That way it's the exact same. Um, you know, if you want colors, different colors, that's fine. But I just do it this way. That's That way it's the exact same. So the purple is lined up with purple and all that stuff. But it's all preference. You can change it whatever color you want. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Shift and select all these. Right click and duplicate. And then hit Control E. The reason why I do this is in case I mess up with it, I can still go back and I don't have to start all over. I have done it before where I never made one. Make sure it's not a clipping mask if it's hidden. Um, but as you can see, I've messed up before and then I had to start all over and it took me like, you know, it made my job much worse. So always, you know, just keep the basic um, stuff that you like to make a duplicate and then in case you mess up, you can go back. Then uh, hit Control J on that, hit Control T. What that's going to do is it's going to select it so we can right click it and flip it vertically. Uh, we're going to be doing the reflection for it. So uh, hit apply and then scroll, uh, hit Control minus to make it really small. So I can scroll down with my arrow key. You can drop, like, drag and drop it below. But I just do this that way. No, it's the exact same, you know, and it's perfect. And then I just zoom back up and then justify it how I want it. Um, what I like to do is I like to put it right on the bottom. Like, I don't like to leave any gap or anything. And that way it looks like it's an actual reflection when we uh, add our, our, um, our layer mask. So I click layer mask down here, the little circle inside the square. Go back to gradient. Make sure your gradient's not on rainbow. Make sure it's uh, black, black to uh, gradient, uh, bl 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 black to transparent. Then drag from the bottom, kind of to the middle. Again, this is all preference how much you drag it or whatever. But I think that looks good, and that's how I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna change the opacity from 100 to 50, just so it gives it that like kind of reflected, fadey kind of not as bright look, like it's reflected off the the ground. Last, what we're going to do is we're going to add in those brushes. So we're going to go to our background, make a new layer, click brush, change it to uh, white. Doesn't really matter what color. And then uh, I'm going to choose this one right here, which was the very last one. Put it up here in the right corner. And then I'm going to choose um, this one. And then I'm going to put this on the bottom. Put it kind of on the bottom like that. And then what you want to do is make another new layer. And uh, what I like to do is I like to use the same kind of gradient, the rainbow. That way it looks like the paint splatter is from making this, I guess. Uh, so what I do is I drag it from the outside uh, to the outside on both sides. And then just uh, create clipping mask. Right click it, create clipping mask. And what that's going to do is make sure it only goes to the, the paint. And also made, make, that, make sure that you made a new layer. That way it's not on your background and messing up your background. As you see, if I turn off my background and make it a PNG, um, it's still colored and all that stuff. Again, make sure you always uh, create a clipping mask to what it, you, what you want it to be on. But that's it. That's that's all you gotta do. It's really simple. Um, it looks kind of cool. You can also use this neon effect on other stuff, like the background I made. Um, I've made flowers like this. That makes me sound gay. But <laughs> you know, it's something cool. I like working with uh, random things that I can do it with, and it looks cool. So then, just go up to File, Save As. Uh, make sure it's a JPEG. And then uh, neon B oops BG 
save. I already saved it earlier because I messed up this video the first time. And there we go. And then uh, here's our background. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. Again, the link to, uh, to download the brush is in the description. And also the link to download the font, if you want this font, is in the description as well. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Talk to you guys later and have a great day. And yes, I realized I just repeated myself because I said it wrong. But <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day.